Good evening, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day. And hello from the Universal Orlando Resort. Tonight is going to be very spooky and very exciting because it is the opening night of Halloween Horror Nights 31. I feel like I've been covering the construction progress for months now and tonight is the night, finally. But it is going to be even more exciting because this year Universal invited us out for media night. This way I'm able to show you guys everything that this event has to offer including all 10 haunted houses. Yes, I do have permission in the film inside of the houses this year yes so i do want to say a very big thank you to universal i really do appreciate it now this is a special ticketed event so you do need a additional ticket to experience this and it's running now through halloween night we are starting here at universal's cabana bay this is where they told me to park my car because i believe we have a welcome reception and then we are hopping on a bus to take it over to universal studios florida where the event is and then we are going on a RIP tour which I am very excited about because I've never been on an RIP tour which is basically a VIP tour where you get to just bypass the line and just go right into the houses and this is something I say if you're visiting HHN for only one night and one night only definitely take advantage of the RIP tour just because you're not going to be waiting in line. You have your own personal tour guide. I hope you guys are ready for a spooky, fun, exciting night because I am. Let's go do this. All right, I have made it in. And this year here at Cabana Bay, they are offering Universal Monsters Gallery of Legends open daily from 2 p.m. until 10 o'clock p.m. exclusive to guests staying at any Universal Orlando Resort. And you can find Universal Monsters Gallery of Legends here on the second level. Down here we can see the food court on the first level. You have the main lobby over this way as well as the Starbucks. There's Galaxy Bowl. Just take the stairs up, walk over, and we can already see signage. Here we are. This is where it's located, right through these doors under Fun in the Sun, which is the rec center. Obviously, I can't go in today because we have a lot to get to and I'm not staying at a Universal Hotel. I'm walking through the main lobby here and I'm passing by the Swizzle Lounge. It's all decorated for Halloween. Look at this place. There's pumpkins everywhere. Here's the QR code if you guys want to check out the drink menu. I just checked in and I was given this little HHN care package that says never go alone. Ooh, we have a lot in here. Oh my goodness, looks like a t-shirt, a lanyard, a lanyard pouch, a poster. This is fancy. Oh my goodness, it's finally time to experience Halloween Horror Nights 31 as we just arrived here to the front entrance, about to head in. I have made it in. Looks like we are walking through deadly unrest. Oh my goodness. All right. Wow. <laughs> Good one. Look at this guy. That's creepy. Wow. I will say, I have really missed the smell of Halloween Horror Nights. There's nothing like it. So far, I really like this scare zone. There's so much fog. Whoa, what the heck is that? Oh, this guy is going to get a lot of people because he blends in. Like, I can't see anything because there's so much fog and I love it. Oh! <laughs> I think that may be costume of the year. That's so weird and so different. Nettlewood Cemetery. I like it already. It really came together. Crazy. Oh yes, look at this view. Mel's dying. I also like the graphics on the Transformers building as well. We have made it inside of our welcome reception. We have food. Looks like tamales, a lot of Day of the Dead stuff. Oh wow, looks like we get to try a little bit of everything from the different food booths. 
popcorn. I heard that popcorn's actually pretty spicy. I love the theming in here. It's like a traditional Halloween. That's the overall theme of this year's event, if you guys did not know. What in the world is this? A coconut yuzu eyeball? This looks kind of good, but kind of creepy. And then we have these Jack or Lantern pumpkin spice mousse cakes. Those are adorable. Then down here we have Mummy's Cursed Tablet Cookie with a ton of glitter on there. And then we have a cookies and cream mousse with a spider web on top. Looks like they have a bar. That way we can try a little bit of everything that they have to offer this year. I mean, this has to be the coolest food they have ever had at any HHN over the years. I mean, look at this. It's like meat that you would buy from the grocery store. And over here we have fried zombie brains. Look at that. Apparently it's sweet raspberry flavored Rice Krispie Treat. I'm very curious to try this. I mean, the packaging alone is awesome. This is a churro dog on a stick. It's a Korean style fried corn dog tossed in cinnamon sugar. Right next door, they also have these African lentil coffins. I hope I said that right. I have been having my eyes on these, which are the Little Boo's Spicy Buns. They have these pizza skulls. It's a pizza in a form of a skull. Yeah, I definitely have to pick up one of these. Something that I've been noticing lately that Universal has been doing, and I really appreciate it, they have a lot more vegan and vegetarian options. Like these Little Boo Spicy Buns, they are vegetarian. Also, the coffins, they are vegan because it has a vegan pie dough. Well, hello there. I love your outfit, I must say. It was so incredibly busy in there because everybody is getting their food and we're only here for a little bit of time. I got a little bit of everything. Of course, I got the Little Boo bow and then the coffin, the churro dog on a stick, and of course, the pizza skull. It just started to sprinkle just a little bit. Hopefully, it's not too bad, but I had to come outside because there's tables outside and it's a little more quiet out here. I'm gonna try the pizza skull first. This is really good. I wanna say I enjoyed this pizza skull, hear me out, a little bit more than the pizza fries. I don't know, that's how I'm feeling right now. This thing is really good, do not skip this. I may have another before the night is over. <laughs> Next up, I'm going to try the Little Boo Spicy Bow. It's pretty good. I will say it started off kind of spicy, not really, that spicy. I give it maybe a one and a half out of five rating as far as spice level. And then it goes over to more of a sweet taste. And then I still have a little bit of spice at the end. Interesting, but I liked it. Next up, I have the coffin. That was good. It is unique and different. It wasn't my favorite thing I've had out of everything. Perfect timing. But yeah, it wasn't my favorite thing I've had thus far, but of course it has those African spices throughout. I enjoyed it, but it's not my favorite. Finally, we have the churro corn dog. I'm very curious to see how this tastes. I have been hearing from multiple people that it's really good. Holy cow, they were not kidding. This churro corn dog is really good. Really, really tasty. So it's your basic corn dog, but it has like a churro seasoning on it kind of like a like a cinnamon sugar donut in a way really good because you have savory and sweet at the same time get one of those and thank me later for my adult beverage I was told to go try the electric death the drink was really good it has a nice sweet flavor to it but not too sweet it does have gin in there but the alcohol is not too overpowering of course this is a pre-mixed drink which you can find all over HHN I'm more of just a whiskey guy, but this is pretty good. I have to try this because, I mean, look at it. <laughs> it looks awful. It does not look appetizing at all, but I have to try it. And my fingers are already disgusting with the blood, and I believe this is like a raspberry sauce. Very interesting, but very cool. Wow, I do like this. Now, again, I was very nervous 
to eat this just because how it looks, but it's just a Rice Krispie treat. It's raspberry flavored, and then you have that raspberry sauce. Pretty good. I would probably get this again, but I mean, it looks disgusting. <laughs> But great job, Universal. Great job. We are now inside the horror and makeup show theater because we are about to have a little presentation and a briefing about this year's HHN event. What's going on here? Oh, Michael Myers. Whoa. The GOAT, the greatest of all time. See you out there. We got some trigger treaters here. Hi, friends. My name is Fallon. No relation to Jimmy, and I'm actually Devin's tour guide tonight. We're gonna be taking through him through all ten houses, all five scare zones, and it's gonna be a bugging good time. And away we go. It is very foggy this year. Woo! Just like that. Oh, this is fantastic. Walking through the barn. Oh boy. That got me so good just now. Whoa. She had a bad day. Our first house of the night brings us here to Descendants of Destruction. Here we are. Look at this front facade. It looks great. So, a brief backstory about this maze this is a abandoned New York City subway station and the air quality is so bad to live above ground, so they came down to the subway station, and here we are. Here it's we going go. to be crazy. It's going to be madness. I mean, look at this front facade. Oh, man. All right, you guys enjoy our first house of the season here at Halloween Horror Nights 31. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, looks like we're on a subway right now. Oh my goodness gracious. Whoa, look at this. That's amazing. Oh, it smells. Wow. It smells disgusting in here. Good one. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Oh, it smells like dirt. Whoa. <laughs> So many mushrooms. Oh! Oh! That was a good one. We did it. We made it. Holy cow. I just got out of Descendants of Destruction. That was so much fun. That was our first house of this year's event. Had some really good elements. Had some really good scares. Oh, we're going to our next house. 
I think our next one is Bugs. I'll talk to you guys about it after we get out of Bugs. It's non-stop tonight. Right next door, our next house, Bugs Eaten Alive. This is set in the 1950s. Look at the wallpaper. Get him off of me! Oh, you're biting me! Move! Come on! Move! Move! Keep him moving! Get him off of me! Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> this is terrifying! Oh, it's dark! Oh no, I feel bugs all over me! I feel bugs! There's bugs everywhere! Oh! Oh! <laughs> wow! Oh no! Wow! Look at her face! What in the world? Please stop it! Oh! What? Oh no! Oh, there's water! Oh! Oh, there's maggots everywhere! Thank you. All right, I finally have a few minutes to talk about the two houses we just went through. The first house, Descendants of Destruction. That was an awesome house. I really got scared in that house. There was like maybe three times where I did not see the scare coming and it got me really good. Even on camera, there was a lot going on. I can't really think of everything right now just because we just finished up going through bugs eaten alive and that was the house this year that I was most excited about just because living in Florida you see all kinds of scary creepy huge bugs all the time and now you have it in a haunted house I mean that maggot room was terrifying that whole house was terrifying especially if you're afraid of bugs this house is going to get you it was a long house I was quite impressed had some really good scares. It was a beautiful house. There was so much to look at. If you guys have time, just take a few moments. Slow down a bit. I know it's hard to slow down when you're in a conga line, but just enjoy it because there's so much to look at. That is a beautiful house. I can't wait to go back through that house. I can't wait to take Bianca through that house as well. But next up, we have the weekend after hours, another house I've been really excited about. And Universal Monsters Collide. A quick fun fact about Universal Monsters Legends Collide. Every night there will be a different winner. So one night you may see the mummy, the other night you may see Dracula, and the other night you may see Wolfman. Let's go do this. Check it out. I like the entrance a lot. And then over this way is the weekend after hours nightmare. Here we go.
walking through this house alone right now. Disgusting in here. Oh my god, Wolfman! Yes, you're the winner! All hell mummy! Wow. That was great! I really enjoyed that. That was freaking incredible. I really enjoyed Bugs eating alive, but I will say Universal Monsters Legends Collide. That was awesome. Oh, hello! <laughs> That's awesome. That's the weekend house right over there. I really enjoyed Universal Monsters Legends Collide. The mummy was the winner. I got scared a lot. It was a beautiful house. A lot of really good elements and effects happened. The smells, there was one room where the scent was so disgusting. I don't even know how to explain the scent of it because it was that bad. Really enjoyed this one. I can't wait to come back and do it again. But I think our next maze, the weekend after hours nightmare. You guys can't hear his music in the background. Check out this queue line. And here we are. Now this is themed to be a Weekends After Hours nightclub. As we can already hear, the Weekends music, be warned, there's a lot of strobe lights in here. There he is, the Weekend. Whoa. Got me good. Oh! <laughs> I love the music they're playing. Oh! <laughs> oh!
Absolute! <laughs> that was awesome! Oh my god, I feel like every time I finish up with a house, I say it's better than the last one. But now, after going through the weekend, after hours nightmare, that's my favorite house. <laughs> I have a lot of favorite houses. I mean, all four so far have been really good. Really, really good. But something about that weekend house, Universal Creative, you guys did it. <laughs> that was unbelievable. I mean, I thought it wasn't going to be, I knew it was going to be good, but I did not think it was going to be this good. And it was. The music alone, they like remixed it in a different type of way. It was awesome. The scares were really, really, really good. It was a long house. There were some moments where it was very dark and then a scare would just happen. Unbelievable. And then those monsters at the ends. I mean, if you guys are familiar with The Weeknd and his music videos, you know how they work. Universal Creative was able to bring that into a haunted house. And it was incredible. Incredible. That's my favorite house so far. I really can't wait to do that house again. I can't wait to do all of them again. All four. And we still have six other haunted houses plus the other scare zones, plus two shows. Fantastic night, fantastic year so far. Also, I just remembered from the Universal Monsters Legends Collide house at the end, tonight's winner was the mummy, but he had Wolfman's head in his hand. That was creepy, but very cool. For our next scare zone, we're gonna be heading through Graveyard, Deadly Unrest. Death and Sleep are reapers, they've come to reap your eternal soul. As we wander through, you'll see some of our ghostly friends. You might recognize from some of the years past, including some gargoyle friends. One of my favorite things, there are two scare actors that are identical, and they are the twins. They are meant to represent two twins. That died tragically. That is such a great scare, just because he blends in. Oh, I think this scare zone is really growing on me. <laughs> I will no longer rest in the shadows. I have taken root and will now the pumpkin lord. We are now quickly walking through the horrors of Halloween, which has some of the characters from years past, like the witches. Wow. Great job, Universal. I feel like this may be the best year they have ever had as far as scare zones just because all of them are really good this year. There's so much going on. All of the HHN Carnival games have returned this year. It's gonna be Hellblock Horror! Woo! Okay, quick synopsis. Hell's Gate Prison, not to be confused with Hellgate Prison from years past, they're actually separate, is being run using a power core. It's multiversal, it's extra dimensional. We don't really know where it came from. The power source broke and all of our horrors are breaking loose to come and get you guys. Yeah. You will see some references to scare zones and houses past. Who here remembers Alien Invasion over in San Francisco? Yeah, there's one of them hiding in here. We captured it, and unfortunately it got out. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 
Got me good. Oh. <laughs> Jess got out of Hell Block. It was pretty good. It wasn't my favorite, but it had some really good scares. It was long, had some good Easter eggs. Now, I've been hearing that. That house was supposed to be Evil Dead or something like that. I don't know how true that is, but it was a pretty solid house. Again, not my favorite, but it was good. You know, I love a good prison haunted house. Those never get old. The original Halloween movie, we all know Michael Myers. We're gonna take a different pathway through his life experience. Plenty of knives. A fun fact, we actually built 42 replicas of his knife for this house only. Oh, the music is so creepy. I love it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, Michael. Very, very dark. Oh. We're outside. Oh, no. Oh, oh my. <laughs> That was a great scare. No way. Oh! There's Michael up in the window. This is impressive. Very, very impressive. I'm loving it already. Oh! Nice one. Oh! Jesus. Oh, no. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, damn, there's Michael up there, up the stairs. Oh, oh no, not the closet. Can't ah! Ah! Oh, God! Oh, God! Woo! All right, all right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, I knew it. I knew it was going to happen at some point. Jesus. <laughs> that Halloween house was pretty incredible. I think that was the best Halloween house Universal has ever done. That was really good. Some great set pieces, great scares. I mean, there was Michael Myers all over the place. So many knives, so many bodies. Incredible house. I don't know if that's my favorite. Bro, what did you think? Dude, best house by far. We still got what, two more? We have like four, four two or four more. Like that. Best house. I'm good. I'm done for that. Go really? back to the hotel. Lock it up. Ten out of ten. Done. That's saying a lot. Next up, we are walking through spirits of the coven, which witches are coming to get you for their potion. That's my understanding here. What's the password? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, is that a head? Yes, it is. Oh. Good one. Oh. What the heck? That's insane.
Oh my goodness. Look at this pig. Oh! Oh jeez. This can't be good. We have some witchcraft. Lots of fog. I really enjoyed that house. There was so much to look at, so many witches, and then that final room, they were trying to do like a curse or something like that, witchcraft. That was terrifying. Again, just witches everywhere, lots of bodies everywhere. The music was really good. It's very loud. Can't really talk too much right now, but I'll talk more about it once we get a minute because it's been non-stop. Also, as we've been walking around the park, I've been checking out the wait times. It's not that bad, and I'm kind of surprised and shocked because it's opening night. Tonight is sold out. All weekend long is sold out. Universal even paused the Rush of Fear passes, so you can't buy the passes right now. They will go back on sale sometime next week, I've been told. I don't know, but yeah, wait times aren't that bad. Right now, weekend after hours, only an hour. And that's surprising because like that's a big house a lot of people are coming to this event just to go through the weekend house and there's jake <laughs> walking through the meats locker which is a brand new addition this year inside of sting alley they have the beating hearts again this year you guys see them pulsing this is pretty crazy pretty dang crazy we got to try this earlier Universal just went above and beyond this year. They really did. I mean, look at this. It's insane. There's just body parts everywhere. And over here, it is a drink stand, so you can get Bloody Marys here and some beer and White Claws. First, we're going to be visiting Latin America to the Fiesta de Chupacabra. We have been invited into this town where they are hosting a festival to bring you guys along. They want the tourists. Guess what? You're the victims, you're the tourists. When we first enter, you're actually gonna see my friend. She is the mask maker, and she is carving chupacabra masks as you enter. When you're going through, you're gonna be visited by the chupacabra in every single room in some way, shape, or form. Whether it be mask, whether it be beast, or just sound. Another fun fact, this is our first house that is completely in Spanish. From the writing on the walls to the audio throughout it, it will only be in Spanish. And then afterwards, we're gonna be heading up to Northeast. We're gonna go to Dead Man's Pier, Winter's Wake. It is freezing, it is raining, and it is snowing in there. You will get wet. The deadly spirit has called forth using her violin, the semen of the deep, and they're coming for you guys. Because why else would you be there? This is a bad smell. Jeez. Oh, Sangre alimentada, bestia. Sangre alimentada, bestia. Sangre alimentada, bestia. What the heck? Oh. That was terrifying. There's so much to look at. Lots of Easter eggs. This is cool. Wow. 
Hey! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, it smells horrible. She had a bad day. Wow. It's already super cold in here. This is amazing. The tears the flesh. Oh. It is so cold right here. Jesus. I got a little wet. Oh yeah, it's raining. So beautiful to look at. Oh, I'm getting soaked right here. <laughs> he got me twice. We just got out of Dead Man's Wharf. That is my favorite house of the night. Really enjoyed that one from start to finish. It was beautiful to look at. Very scary. It was long. I think that was the longest house at this event. I could be wrong, but it was very long. There's just so much to look at. I mean, it was beautiful. I mean, did you guys see the footage? It was beautiful. There were some cold elements to the house. It was raining. It was cold. The scare actors were amazing. Really, really, really enjoyed it. Hello. Thank you for watching. Man, that house actually gave me goosebumps. Too sweet revenge out here. It's actually the 1950s, very similar to Bugs Eaten Alive. Except instead of Bugs Eaten Humans, we have small children that have eaten way too much candy and now they're coming for the adults because what else do kids on candy do? They go to harass the adults, only this time it involves blood, guts, and gore. <laughs> <laughs> so they did place a body here on the tractor. Look at their heads. 
Jeez. How gross is that? Great theming though. They have these giant festival floats along the street here. That's fun. I mean, they're massive. <laughs> oh dear. By the way, the mummy has reopened. It's in technical rehearsal. It is open right now. Adios mio. Oh, look at this float. Is that a baby? Well, that's scary. Hello. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Woo. I love the lights up top as well. Oh, there's a robot. Another float. Major Sweets Candy Company. Whoa. That's awful. Do you guys see that? Oh, geez. So much is happening in this scare zone. That is uh, disturbing. You said it about two years ago, but it was a hit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up, we have our final house, which is the Horrors of Blum House. I do want to point out, it's 12.30 a.m. right now. This house only has a 25 minute wait. Not too bad. And what's really cool about this house this year, well, it's in a brand new location inside of the Fast and Furious Supercharged queue line. So I'm interested to see how this maze will be. Yeah, look at this. Interesting. <laughs> That was scary. I'll suck you. Next up, the black phone. I loved this movie. I mean, it was scary and creepy, but I really enjoyed it. Oh, there's the van, the balloon. Oh, there's the phone. It's ringing. His eggs, the stairs. The grabber. Here's the phone again. Jeez. It's funny because I've heard so many mixed reviews about the horrors of Blumhouse Maze and I just got done and I'm going to be honest with you guys. I started to watch Freaky and we ended up falling asleep. Now Freaky was the first half of this house. It was good but it wasn't all that. But the second part of this house when we entered the black phone it was awesome. Like, I really enjoyed that movie. I do like the bad guy, the grabber, which is the main character, the main villain of this movie. Really good. The grabber was all over the place. I loved just walking through the different scenes of the movie, like the basement. I wasn't expecting it to be this good, but honestly, I wish they would have just done a maze on the black foam and left Freaky out. But I think this house has potential to get even better through the season. Oh, oh, oh. Guys, we might want to take a step back. Wow. That was gnarly. I also really enjoyed conjuring the dark, that scare zone with the witches. I like that little show. They just did, and then I just heard they do something else and they electrocute somebody. So maybe we'll catch that the next time. We are heading back over to the weekend house because 
they extended our tour, thank goodness, so we get to do the weekend after hours nightmare one more time. Don't think I'm gonna film it this time. I think I'm just going to enjoy it with my own eyes. But something else to keep in mind, which I just found out, if you do decide to take a RIP tour like we're doing tonight, if you love those pizza fries, and if you guys know about those pizza fries, you know how long that line can get over at Kids Own Pizza. We just passed there not too long ago. It was very long and crowded because this is the only time of the year you can get those pizza fries. Anyways, if you do decide to take a RIP tour, if you want to bypass that line for the pizza fries, you can actually just go over to Louis, which is where the Scare Actor Dining experience is happening. Go to the Mobile Order Express window and you can get pizza fries only if you are on a RIP tour so that's something to keep in mind that's a nice perk I just want to point out the current time is 1 37 Universal Monsters Legends Collide 10 minutes the weekend 25 minutes with that good night Universal Studios Florida what a successful opening night of Halloween Horror Nights 31. All right, I just made it back to my car. It is currently 2.10 in the morning. I am exhausted, but what a fun opening night it was. So I was a little nervous about this year just because we really don't have a big IP. Yes, we do have The weekend. Yes, we do have Blumhouse. Yes, we do have Halloween. And yes, we do have Universal Monsters. But I was a little nervous because we don't have like that one like Stranger Things house, which I really was hoping they would have this year. But it was such a great run this year. Like I love the options they have. And I've always been such a huge fan of original houses. And this year we have six of them and I really enjoyed them. I can't, I will tell you guys like my top three or top five houses but like there really wasn't a horrible house. I think my least favorite out of all of them was the Hellblock house, the prison haunted house. I didn't really care for that house. I may have just had a bad run and that house could get better over time during the season. But other than that, every single house was really good. I feel like it was a little more scarier this year because I feel like last year it wasn't as scary, but this year, I mean, I got some really, really great scares. Also, the scare zones. I really enjoyed every single one of those scare zones because they were all really good. They all had great theming. They all had a great story to them, great scare actors, great costumes, and great sound effects. Lots of fog this year. There was many times where I was walking through the scare zones and it was pretty hard to see just because there was so much fog in those scare zones. I think if I had to choose one out of the five scare zones that was my favorite, and this is a tough choice because I really enjoyed them all, I think as far as tonight, I would pick Deadly Unrest. That was a beautiful scare zone. It was very well themed, had great scare actors, great costumes, great sound effects. There was one time when I was filming, not paying attention, and somebody got me real good. So I really enjoyed that. And you know, I've been covering this scare zone since Universal started to put out the props. And just seeing it all come together was very nice for me. I mean, seeing the entire event come together for me was really nice. Just because as a theme park enthusiast and somebody who comes here pretty much every single week just seeing the progress over the weeks and now opening night it was beautiful man I, I was a little nervous about this year I am no longer nervous I loved the direction Universal went this year and I hope for the next few years they will start to bring more original houses I mean obviously still bring a big IP to the event because that will draw more people in but I really like the direction of original houses and I think it really paid off for the fan service this year and it really paid off for Universal I think all right I'm going to give you guys my top three houses for tonight now again this was a tough decision because there was some really good houses this year but as far as tonight and again my opinions may change as the season goes on but at number three I'm going to go with Halloween number two 
This is really hard for me, guys. Really, really hard. But I think I'm going to go with... I think I'm going to go with The weekend. Finally, number one for me tonight was Universal Monsters Legends Collide. It's future dev. As I was driving home, I totally remembered, what about Dead Man's Pier? And I forgot about that because I guess I'm that exhausted and tired as it's just about 3 a.m. That's pretty high on my list. I want to say that's my number one, but I still feel like Universal Monsters Legends Collide is still number one for me. So I'm going to put Dead Man's Pier at number two, and then I'm going to move The Weeknd to number three, and Halloween at number four. I loved Dead Man's Pier. I mean, that was a beautiful house. Had some really awesome elements. I mean, there was areas where it was raining. The whole house was very cold. The scares were great. It was very long, and I know Universal spent a ton of money on this house. Now, since I was here on media, which I am very thankful for, but I was on a schedule, so I had to follow that schedule. We got a lot done, but there was a few things we missed. We did not get to see both of the nighttime shows, so I will definitely be doing that when I come back. And then this year at City Walk, they have a really cool bar that's themed to the Universal Monsters. I think it's called Dead Coconut Club or something like that. So I will be doing those things the next time I'm here. And then obviously more food. There's so much food this year. I enjoyed pretty much everything I got to sample today. It was so good. So definitely stay tuned for more Halloween Horror Nights content as well as Universal Orlando content. I still need to go have a ride on Mummy because it has reopened. It is in technical rehearsal. So a lot is coming your way, but I am exhausted. I do have to go home and edit this video to get it up for you guys. So please, if you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. I love you all and thank you so much for watching. Universal, thank you again so much for having me out. I love you all in YouTube. I will see you in the next video. Happy Halloween, Prince Charming.